Bookers. Today we're going to be making a two page layout and this is based on um, a sketch that I found in the 2007 um, Creating Keepsakes magazine by Debbie Hodge, our fearless leader over at Get It Scrapped. So um, I followed her design pretty much and made this pretty clean and simple two page layout about um, my going fishing with my son and this is not a toilet bowl of fish but that's our live um, bait well which kind of looks like a toilet but is not a toilet so <laughs> anyways um, that's the layout that I'm going to be working on today so go get a whole stack of photos and let's do a double page spread this is layout number five in my series created um, that I've created my own kit using the serendipity line as my color inspiration for a homemade kit. Okay, go get your stuff. Let's get started. So I found another gem in that um, 2007, I think it was, Creating Keepsakes magazine. And it's another layout by Debbie Hodge. And it's a two-page layout. And it's so funny because I know her kids. And I've been to her house. And I... Um, they're so little and now they're all grown up. That's just hilarious. Um, but anyway, so I got started, so just a little bit. So I had a bunch of photos. Of course, I, even though she's got like a, a lot of photos here, I found more. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, not a fan of white space. So what I did was I took, I got into the polka dot paper. The polka dot pad, polka dot party, <laughs> the Dear Lizzie polka dot party, and I just picked two different um, papers, and this one was a twelve, you know, twelve by twelve. I just cut it in half, and so that's just six by twelve each of those, and then this one I cut it to about four and a half by twelve, and then what I did is I wanted to really get it so where the photos were lining up. So I just kept cutting until I got to a place where that was happening. Now, if you look at her layout, it's she's got like a border around the whole thing. So I need to cut these down so that they're going to fit onto, um, you know, a background page. And then also she's, um, just to make it Kind of, and I know that was maybe the trend at the time, but she's rounded like a couple of the edges, not these, but these over here. So I'm going to do that too, just to make it more obvious that they're all together. So let's start trimming. I think what I'm going to do is so that they're the same. I'm just going to line them up like this. This should work. And then carefully cut. Let me just make sure that worked. Yep, I think it did. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do the rounding for yet, but that's the right side of the layout. And then this is gonna be the left side of the layout. So again, just putting those right next to each other. So while I was uploading the last videos, I watched some videos and I found some by Jen Show. And Show is, I don't know if that's how you say her name, but it looks like S-C-H-O-W. She has a YouTube channel. And she's got a series, like remember years ago, before Chanel was doing the um, videos for Two Peas in a Bucket, she was like kind of doing them on her own, I think. And she had like four by six photo love. And maybe that was part of Two Peas, I can't really remember. But Jen Show has like four by or six by six paper pad love, which really kind of goes along with what I've been doing. And, um,. She's got some really cute layouts, and she doesn't, she, her lay, her, some of the things she does, like I just did, like I did this off screen, I put all this stuff together off screen, 
But then she explains everything in real time on screen. I have to apologize. My kids are screaming their heads off. So now I'm going to look. So the next part is, oh my gosh, can you hear them? <laughs> Jen's, and so Jen shows um, videos are more professional than mine. Because she doesn't have screeching children in the background. I think they can hear me. And they're going to wake their dad up. Okay. Anyways. Um, so I need a white background for these two. I'm going to go get that. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. And I found some white paper. Um, one of them is all white. And the other one has ugly stuff on the background. And then um, from this. That was part of my the homemade kit. I made this a while back, this watercolors, and I think I was just playing with some paint and then I had a bunch left over, so I just kind of like brushed a bunch on. But I think the colors match this page, so I'm just going to cut a strip, cut a couple strips that are going to go in between here. So I want those to be the same height. And just looking to see how straight this piece of paper is. I guess it's pretty straight. The way I'm going to measure it is I'm just going to put it in this little groove. And that should work again. I'm always a little afraid I'm going to cut my fingers. <laughs> so far, knock on wood, it's never happened. Okay, so there we go. Those are all ready. And then they're just going to go in between. So that's kind of why I haven't um, I always say nailed them down, but I don't really mean nailed. I mean adhered. Here we go. So something like that. I think what I'm going to do is just adhere this part first and then butt the other ones up to it. Ideally, I would like, I would have liked that to be a little bit longer than those blocks, but it's not, and I'm not going to worry about it. So let's just see what this says. Select your photos that best reveal the relationship between players on your favorite team. <laughs> so I didn't do that. Um, these photos were taken on what I call the forced family fun fishing trip. <laughs> I told my the boys in my family that we were going to go fishing, whether they liked it or not. And then um, we used live bait. So we have some crab traps where we can um, catch live bait. And we have this thing that looks like a toilet, but it's really like a live bait well on our boat. And so we put all the live bait in there, great. But then it was time to get the live bait out of the little bait well and use it. And my son was like, I'm not touching. He didn't want to touch the, the fish. And so he's kind of squeamish. My daughter would totally just touch them, no problem at all. And so would I, and so would his dad, but he wouldn't. Um, so he put on his, I can't remember if he, he must have brought them, those, like the cleaning gloves, you know, the bright pink cleaning gloves. Yeah, so that was quite a sight. We, of course, didn't catch anything that day, but we, there was this little cormorant, which is like a, it's, it's, a, people call it a duck around here, but it doesn't, it's not a duck to me at all. Um, it's one of those birds that like swims underwater. And I think in Asian countries, they may be like fishermen tie a little rope around its neck and then it fishes for the, the fisherman. Um, so it's that kind of a bird. 
and it saw that we were um, it saw that we were fishing and then it like just like a puppy like came over and started begging <laughs> so we ended up throwing the live bait to this cormorant and um, it was pretty entertaining watching him dive for the the live fish. You caught him. <laughs> but we didn't catch anything. But we fed the bird, so that was fun. And we didn't catch the bird on the on our fishing pole. And we have a bunch of fishing poles, but we're down to like they just um all of our fishing poles are in need of repair. There's like one that's still working. We really need to have like somebody who knows how to fish come over and really show us how to do it. Because we're all clueless. <laughs> we never catch anything but catfish. And then we have to just, you know, take the pliers and like get the hook out of their mouth and then throw them back. That's all we ever catch. But I know, like, we have lots of friends who catch all sorts of things all around where we live. So, there's fish out there. We're just not, we just don't know how to catch them. We can catch a little tiny fish, though. We've even um, set up an aquarium, like a 20-gallon aquarium in our house, full of all sorts of like little tiny fish and seahorses and starfish and sea urchins and just like a variety of we have a variety of like little tiny fish but you know nothing big enough to eat <laughs> so that's been my project lately that little fish tank it's fun I'm trying to think of when we did this I think it was this year. It was in the last six months anyways where we did this little fishing trip. So the title is going to go over this way. And on Debbie's layout, she used like this whole space for the journaling. But this is just going to be a photo heavy. Um, A photo heavy layout, but I guess what I could do for journaling space is just maybe put the title like maybe up here and then do my journaling down below this little line. That would make things pretty darn easy. Okay, I just need to trim. Somehow that's just not on there. Is it, does it look straight? <laughs> no. It doesn't even feel straight. I don't know if that, if this watercolor line is the part that's crooked or what. Hard to say. I don't really know. If I just butt it up like that, it doesn't. Yeah, that's crooked. <laughs> so tomorrow is National Scrapbooking Day. And this needs to move now. I'm going to sneeze. So I'm going to plan to go down to my local scrapbook store and buy things I don't need. Yep, it's true. And then I'm going to, there's also this thing called the Brocante Market, which is like a antique market that happens once a month in St. Pete. And I'm going to go, I like to go look around there. I never, well, occasionally I'll buy something, but my um, goal isn't to buy, it's just to go browse around. Sometimes I go with my aunt and sometimes I just go by myself. 
And it's nice to just go look at all that old stuff. I do enjoy it. Okay. So this is just going to go. I'm just going to cut this like this. didn't come out cute. There. That's a little better. And I know I don't have that same thing going on over here. Oh well. What can you do? <laughs> it's just not going to happen. And then there's really very little embellishment on her page. She did take the photo corners though and do one photo with the photo corners, so I think I'll try that and I'll do this one down here. And I do have photo corners, remember? And this um, little box o tricks. Hold on. Okay, back. So I did get some photo corners. Where are they? Remember, on one of these videos, I like the whole thing went flying. No kidding. But I did put some photo corners in my kit, so I'm going to go ahead and use those now. And I think I'm going to use them. Oh, here comes my doggy. She must have heard me say something good. <laughs> something that sounds like W-A-L-K. I don't know. I don't think I said anything like that. She just likes to sit near me. She's a good puppy. She loves to go on the boat. And she loves to go fishing too. But she likes to go to this little island and get in the water and try to catch the fish. She never catches them. But this doesn't stop her from trying. She still totally loves, the, it's the thrill of the chase for her. Okay. Oh, that's kind of cute. So that's got the little, um, a little low. And I kind of want to just do, so what Debbie did was she just had one photo that was highlighted and then the rest were in a series. But I think kind of what I want to do is have like a triangle of photos that are, that have photo corners. So I'm going to do this toilet, toilet looking one because it's funny. And I think people will do like a double take like, what's that? <laughs> you have a toilet full of fish on your boat? <laughs> My kids, I think, really thought it was a toilet when we first got the boat. They're like, no, nope, it's not a toilet. <laughs> Please don't use it like one. Nobody ever did. That would have been bad. We have had a, a, toilet, a boat with a toilet in the past. Um, but the thing about having a boat with a toilet is you always tell people, like, try not to use it. Because <laughs> you don't want it to get, like, stopped up or anything like that. Alright. So there's more photo corners. And this one, I think, is going to get the photo corners, too. Just to be... A little playful with some photo corners. Anyways, that um, other YouTuber I was telling you about, Jen Show, I don't know her and I feel like her name sounds familiar, but I don't really, I don't really know her at all. But she has this series of videos called 6x6 Paper Pad Love. And that title just reminds me of like that Chamel 4x6 Photo Love which I really liked that series too. And she has just, um, I really like, I like her videos. I do. And she's more concise than me. <laughs> the videos don't last quite as long. Okay, here we go. Um, now I need something, I'd like the title over here or here. And then, yeah, I think the title is gonna go here. And then with the journaling on the top. So I think I want the title to be 
Um, something silly. Like toilet fish gloves. <laughs> something, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. That's what it's going to be, toilet fish gloves. <laughs> and I think I want to um, include some of that hot pink color. But if I do that, then I do kind of want to put the title up here. Uh, but I'm not going to. I'm going to put it down here. No, I really want it to be up here. So I think that the, um, the toilet, even if it's not a toilet, the word toilet is going to be in these. I picked a bunch of these thickers ahead of time, and I know I have some that are in the lighter, like the same, I think it's the same font, in the lighter teal and then the navy blue, so that's going to work, I think, really well. Toilet. I better spell that out. I, do, I like to do that when I'm making these videos because when I'm talking and now my little problem is going to be I don't want the toilet the word toilet to go kind of beyond this. So uh, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Because it's going to look like it's sitting on that shelf. Right? Maybe it just goes like this. And put it right on top. I'm going to have to smush it though. And make sure it all fits right on there. Not sure it's going to. And I know there's ways of planning it out beforehand, but I just don't like to. And it's easy enough to move the letters if I need to, but I'd rather just lay them down and hope for the best. And then only occasionally have to fix it. Yeah, that worked. Yay! Toilet. What did I say it was? Toilet bullfish? I don't remember what I was saying anymore. I guess I could rewind, but I'm not going to do that. Yeah, toilet. <laughs> toilet bullfish. And then here's About. Okay, I've got two different. I think I want to use this darker. I think I've got enough letters, yeah. Should have planned that out. Okay, this one I might have to move. I think I need to put a little tail on that L. Never enough of the letters we need. Oh, my kids are making some noise, I'll tell you what. Toilet bowl. And now the fish is going to be in this lighter teal color. I think those are all, they're either the same font or close enough, you know. Well, this font is, I guess, a little bit larger. 
Not a t not a giant big deal. Please let me have an ace, an S. Yeah. So yeah, when I buy these stickers, I usually get them at the discount store. Um, usually, I was going to call it October afternoon, but it's not. It's like Tuesday morning, maybe. Something like that. And... So they're like two bucks, you know, for the whole pack. And so when I find a font that I like or a, a letter style that I like, I just buy, you know, ten bucks, ten bucks worth of one font then or one letter sticker style. And then you get like five packs of them. Whereas, yeah, so I just end up with lots and lots. And I've used these a ton. And I still like them, and it's good. It's great, actually. Okay. So next up, I'm going to do my journaling above and below, and then figure out if I want to do any embellishment at all. I'm not sure. I think maybe fish hooks would be funny. Maybe we even have a real fish hook. We shall see. I'll be back. Hi, scrapbookers. So I'm back. It's the next day, and I went shopping. I did a haul video, so you'll be able to see that. And it's National Scrapbooking Day today, so happy National Scrapbooking Day. And I have, it's funny because I have the, um, the National Scrapbook Day crop going on in the background, but nobody's really talking, so I was like, I'll just make a page. Well, I'll just finish this. So this, I think, is layout number... Five in my little kit make your own kit number two and kind of what I wanted to do was see if I could draw well I wanted to make a fish hook but I don't really want to do that on my silhouette because I'm a little too lazy for that but let's just see if I can draw one I don't know if I can um, so I think it would be good to be like dark so let's see if we can draw it out of this I don't really like that card anyways I'm just going for the blackness of it so I think I'll just draw it on this side probably like about here would be cool or yeah maybe up here but let me just draw it like this And then <laughs> Oh, but actually, yeah, that's the way I want it to go. So I should do it the other way. way that's going to turn out. So I'm just going to kind of cut that out. Um, I was going to use my little Fiskars thing, but I think I will just see if I can cut this out with regular old scissors. Uh, the middle is going to be a little bit of a challenge. Maybe the crocodile will come in handy. So I don't know why I like to sit in on those live crops, but then I don't end up talking a lot in them. I did a show and tell earlier, but um, 
I think it's just fun to know that people are also scrapbooking. <laughs> Which I hope is what you get out of these videos. It's like sitting here with you as your virtual crap buddy. Not crap buddy. Crop buddy. There we go. And now I just need like a circle in the middle of that. And I'm okay that it's like a little rough, you know? I don't, yeah. I keep thinking like it would be weird if they could hear me. <laughs> but I, they can't. But I keep thinking somehow even though my microphone isn't turned into that thing, like somehow they'll be able to hear me and it would just, <laughs> they'll be like, what are you doing? <laughs> I find that when I'm trying to do the, the live crop, it's hard for me to actually get anything done because I don't know why. Just because of the way I have to put the camera and the wires to connect to my computer, it's just a little tricky. Just trying to make a hook. So that's definitely not perfect, but... I like it well enough. Maybe up here. Maybe this way. Okay, still haven't done the journaling yet. And I gotta tell you, now I'm like so itching to get this over with so I can get on to the next <laughs> layout. So I thought about just running some twine across the whole thing. And then I found this gold string and I thought that might be it looked a little bit more like fishing line, like a little more substantial, you know? So I think I'm going to use that. Maybe just go across the whole entire page. I think that would be easiest to do. So I think this came from a scrapbook yard sale. Well, it came from Taiwan, according to the label. But I don't remember. Like, I didn't buy this from a store. I think it probably came with something else. So we went out boating today. It's such a gorgeous day here. May and October are my favorite months in Florida. March is pretty nice too. And I guess so is April. The spring and the fall are really nice because the weather's nice, you know, enough to go swimming, but it's not too crazy hot. Because at some point in the year, it gets insane. September is my least favorite month here in Florida. Because it's the month where you feel like summer should be over. Except it's not. It just keeps going and going. And it's totally miserable. And then a lot of times we have hurricanes to worry about. All right. How am I going to get this down? I guess I could poke a little hole through the front of it, but I don't really want to do that. So there's the line that just will run through both of the pages. Yeah, nobody's talking. I turned down the volume a little, so if they start talking again, then I can stop recording this and chime back in, but I think people come and go all day long with the crop. It's really cool. I kind of like, I don't know, when scrapbooking or I guess when like, you know, remember when chat rooms originally came around, like, um, you know, way back in the days of AOL, I always thought that you'd be able to see everyone. And then, I don't know why I thought that, I just did. And then when you couldn't, I was like, well, that's stupid. <laughs> but now you can, so it's really cool. It's, we've seen so much technology change and advance in our lifetime. It's kind of amazing. It's totally amazing. So, you know what I always think, too, though, is like, you know, like doomsday preppers, <laughs> like it's all going to go away, you know, and I've been watching that show, The Last Man on Earth. It is so funny. I think it's with Will Arnett is his name. 
He's from Saturday Night Live. And then it's got Kristen Schaal, who's like my favorite lately. I just, I'm in love with her. She's so funny and so cute. And yep, she's the whole groovy package. Um, okay. Do I want this goofy thing? Do I want the toilets? So goofy. Yeah, I'm going to put them in there. Oops, maybe not right there though. Okay, so I'm thinking that's going to be my, um, my embellishments. Hold on, I'm going to do the journaling. Okay, I'm back, and I started listening to the girls talking over at um, the Get It Scrapped National Scrapbook Day um, crop, and they're talking about all the digital supplies they bought, and, like, you can get an entire kit of digital supplies for $1. Like, it's so different than paper. So you can kind of hear them chattering in the background here. I'll turn it down a little bit more. But it's fun to look at those kits, even if you're not um, if you're not a digital scrapbooker. It really is fun to look at them. So I think I'm going to leave this um, layout pretty clean and simple. And, um, yeah, I'll just redo the journaling. So I got, yeah, what is that, like nine photos <laughs> on the layout. So it says, I convinced Charlie and Mac to go fishing, and we didn't catch anything, but we did have fun feeding a friendly cormorant, the live bait, and the forced family fun was, the forced family fun, I say that sometimes, was indeed fun. When we first got this boat, the kids thought that the bait well was a toilet. Even though it's completely clean, Mac doesn't really like to touch fish. Thus, the pink lady cleaning gloves, 2015. And then I'm just going to tape... The, um, be just because it's Debbie's um, layout that I scrap lifted, and because we, my kids actually know these kids, <laughs> they've played together, um, and or <laughs> my kids have subtly annoyed them. <laughs> my daughter was, anyways, they they had fun together, but um, they don't they don't have any sisters, so <laughs> they get to see what else. Anyways, um, so I put that on the back just because I scrap lifted the layout and we know them. So it'll just be on the back just as a happy little accident. So this was layout number five. Um, and this is using my homemade kit inspired by the Serendipity um, scrapbooking paper pad by Dear Lizzie. And let me tell you what, I am so itching to get to my new supplies. I made a whole another video about all the stuff that I just bought. So I want to blow through the rest of the, <laughs> these layouts so I can start playing with this stuff. Um, I'm really resisting the urge to break these all out. But I do, I want to finish this out and then, um, then we'll move it along. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching and um, yeah, thanks. Happy National Scrapbooking Day.